this qualify as the traditional Christmas tree with lots of goodies for all the lawmakers? No, I think there are um, a very few goodies. <laughs> well, you uh, could dispute that conclusion. The Republican chair of the Senate Budget Committee, Jim Stamas, and the House Republican Speaker, Jason Wentworth, combined efforts with Governor Whitmer to push and get a $1 billion budget that goes into a variety of programs, including $210 million to cover COVID pay for Michigan State troopers, up to $5,500 in a scholarship for four-year college students, $2,750 for community college students, and $2,000 for students attending trade schools, another $7.5 million for mental health service for first responders, and $15 million for children moving out of the foster care system. Republican Representative Steve Johnson was one of about 25 Republicans who rejected the package. He called it, quote, immoral. This Senate Democrat counters, however, this spending is good for taxpayers. This is a bipartisan deal. This is not uh, one party or, or one rule. This is all of us working together in Lansing to try to do the right thing. This political pundit was asked, why are they doing this in the middle of a campaign? Because it's in the middle of a campaign, Tim. They want to show their spending money on behalf of good causes for the people of Michigan. It's all good for Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and it will be good for some legislators in contested races, swing district races, where maybe they're fighting for their political lives. Look for the governor to announce new industries coming to the state, lured here by an $846 million incentive package approved by the legislature this week. Oh, by the way, the announcement comes in October, just before the election. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.